one of the subject matters that too few of people in entrepreneurship talk about is your mental health and your mental well-being. We live in a culture right now where it's about the hustle. How many hours are you working? This badge of honor that you woke up at 3 a.m. after going to bed at 1 a.m. to go and work for 12, 14, 16 hours straight and then eat complete shit just because you need to keep working. We're going against the way we as humans are programmed in DNA. Everyone is ticking and operating differently. Someone who can operate from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and be on their A game is not the same as someone who works best in the nights or in the mornings. And you need to take time to truly be self-aware of what works for you and what's going to give you the best mix of balance of being healthy and being happy and being productive versus being burned out. When I was younger, I would look at the top people in my space. I would see them working so much. I was like, I need to keep up. And you know what happened? I gained 60 pounds unnecessarily. I got in two different car accidents. I was stressed out of my mind. I still have some gray hair today at 25. And it took until being literally burned out to realize something is wrong. You don't need to play catch up. You don't need to keep up. You need to work at your own pace and just do what is right for you and right for your employees and right for your company. Because you being productive and you being happy will outweigh the value and the benefits of you being burned out and miserable and half-assing everything that you're doing. Your clients, your customers, your employees, your teams, your vendors, everyone will know when you're half-assing, when you're low capacity, when your battery is drained. One, get sleep. One of the recommendations I have for so many new entrepreneurs now is schedule your sleep. From 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. every day, I'm not working, I'm not on my phone, I'm not on my computer, I am sleeping. Step two, go to therapy. Even if you think there's nothing wrong, look at therapy as going to the gym. Why do we go to the gym? To get stronger, to train ourselves. You need to be doing the same thing mentally. You need someone to vent to. Especially if you're a single founder, you don't have a co-founder, you're not gonna be able to confide with your team. So having someone to talk to, a professional at that, just to get things off your chest, is gonna prevent buildup. It's gonna prevent what could be something so much worse. It's going to put you in a better mental frame of mind. And third, get some form of physical activity. Eat healthy. Because the healthier you are, the happier you are. The happier you are, the more productive you're going to be. The more productive you're gonna be, the happier you are again, right? Don't go against how you're programmed. Give a big middle finger to what the entrepreneurship culture is telling you. You're not in this for a year from now. You're in this for 50 years from now. Don't forget that.